how to pass the user testing test. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can pass user testing test. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So I'm just simply going to go ahead and log in and create an account. And you can just create an account by clicking on the start here button right here. And over here, I want to evaluate user testing for my company. I want to make money online. You can choose whatever option you fit, but I want to make money online. So I'm going to go ahead with that option. And here we just enter in our email. And after that, over here, we just have to take the sign up test. A few things to get started. Reward amount will depend on the type of test and they will show you the amount on each test so you can choose which ones you'd like. You'll receive all payments straight into your verified PayPal account and you'll need to be at least 18 years of old. So we'll click on next. We'll have to fill out this form and we should be good to go. And after that, we just simply click on continue. Give it a couple of seconds for it to load up. And now we just finished setting up our account. We just have to verify our email, set up PayPal payments and create our profile and then take a practice test, which will take seven minutes. So let's go ahead and take the practice test right now. And now we are ready to go ahead and take a test. And of course they give you this small video, which is a minute, 11 seconds long. And I highly recommend you watch this video. Even if you are watching this video, me taking a test and explaining everything, but I recommend you watch this video as well. I highly recommend it because you know, they might give you a little bit more information as well. So I'm going to go ahead and watch it and continue with the test. All right. So now we just simply click on the next button and over here you can see uh, user testing. They give you a quick setup type of option. They'll need you to share your microphone and your screen. All right. So make sure that they have access to your entire screen and microphone at the same time. And you will stop sharing once you finish giving the feedback. So make sure that you turn it on. You don't turn it off at any given time. All right. So we'll go ahead and click on share access, allow the microphone. There you go. Microphone is in use. And now we're going to, all right. So I have given the microphone the access. There you go. I've given it permissions. Now we're just simply going to go ahead and select the window and this is the window that we want to select so we're going to go ahead and click on that and click on share so there you go if you don't allow i think i have given it permission so this is the tab right the entire screen click on share there you go so make sure you give it that and now we have given them access to the entire screen so they can see it right here uh, you can see confirm selecting yep everything is over here you can preview it you can reset sharing as well but for now, we're going to click on next. Make sure you don't stop sharing, guys. Now, over here, you can select the microphone. Uh, sounds great. Your microphone is working. I am ready to think out loud. Make sure you say that. So we'll click on next. Now, keep two tabs open. All right. So one tab is going to be for the tests, and the other one is going to be for instructions. So we're going to click on next. And all set before you start, remember, speak your thoughts. All right. This is what I'm telling you guys. Make sure that you are speaking your thoughts. You're not just silent and you're not just thinking it inside. Make sure you're speaking your words as I am right now speaking to you. So make sure you do that. All right. So now find a quiet place and take a test. Yep. I'm already there. Minimize any applications or browsers tabs that you want to keep private. We've already done that. So now let's go ahead and click on start recording. So three, two, one recording all right scenario for this practice test you will search for the article on the user testing contributor support center website and provide feedback on your experience all right for this practice we'll search for articles so we need to search for different articles on the user testing contributor site all right so now once we're ready we just simply go ahead and click on open test page i believe this is the button and this will open up the second tab so Remember, this one is for instructions and this one is for the actual test. All right. So they want me to search for articles, right? For user testing contributor support center. So it should be over here. Where is it? Where is it? We just simply have to go ahead and find it. Contributor code of conduct. Is that what they're saying? For this practice, you'll just search for articles on user testing. So click on next. All right, here we go. Task number one on contributor code of conduct page review out loud the important points and keep in mind name on important points that you remember from the article all right so we need to go ahead and search for contributor code of conduct which i believe is here so we're just simply going to go ahead and click on contributor code of conduct it was easy to find and here we need to go ahead and 
read this out aloud. We strongly encourage you to review the details upon determine why should you not reserve your right to remove your account. So they reserve that. So now over here, your account information. So as a user testing contributor, we agree to the following. Uh, you only create an account if you are at least 18. I am more than 18. I am around 25. So create only one user testing account. One is only needed. Not allow anyone else to use it. Great. Provide accurate and up-to-date information. Make sure that the location listed on your profile is where you live most of the time. Use only one PayPal account. Oh, got it. And refrain from taking tests while traveling outside of the country. Got it. Safety and respect as a user contributor. So make sure you read all of this. All right. Make sure you read these important points because they are going to ask you about them, I believe. So not engage in harassment or intimidation of user testing employees and customers be mindful of what your webcam displays when you join a live conversation never share any customer information or material avoid any dangerous risk and as a user testing contributor you agree to provide honest responses to screeners take your time during tests and follow instructions speak your thoughts out loud when required and not emphasize all right not emphasize any agenda responses when using tests all right think we are good to go we've read all of this so now let's go ahead and click on next all right so there are now go to protecting your privacy while testing page and read out loud the section about what information you should never share okay so protecting your privacy while testing okay so here is the option right here let's go ahead and go there protecting your privacy while testing. And here are all of the options. So is there any information I should never share? Here we go. So we should never share credit card information. We should never share driver license number. We should never share car loan number or personal finance account number, passport number, account passport, social uh, genetic information as well, specific genetic information and biometric identities. So what if a customer asks me for a purchase, you should never make a purchase with your own information while testing. So keep that in mind. You should never ever do this. And during a test, can I provide a fake personal in detail instead? You should never share prohibited personal information while with a customer, right? If the test did not include requirement. Okay. What if I accidentally show my information with Chrome autofill? If you accidentally display your personal information because Chrome Autofill feature is activated on your browser, you can quit the test or report a problem. So, okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, that's pretty helpful, I guess. So we can definitely use that. What if I want to delete my account? Please follow this instruction. Okay, so they're basically giving us all of the things that we need. So let's go ahead and move on to the next section. We'll click on next. According to the article you just found, which of the following information is never safe? to show over here we can see email address phone number financial account number and home address so if i remember correctly we can go back over here and see it as well we should never share their credit card number driver's license which is their personal finance account number passport number account passports social security numbers all of that so we should never share them so financial account number we should never share them we should never share phone numbers as well but i think we'll go with the financial account number passport number account number personal finance account number so yeah finance account numbers we never share them we'll click on next open a new tab and search for google maps for the closest coffee shop near you all right there's going to be a tricky one all right so this is the coffee shop near me as you can see right here and now any final thoughts please provide any additional comment questions or suggestions you have before stop recording how do we do that do we open up here okay no i don't think so i don't have any thoughts yeah we'll click on finish now and we are done so they'll review the test and it usually takes a few days so we'll keep an eye on the inbox if we have any questions so and of course we are done with the test now make sure that you do everything that they say exactly like they say it all right and it is very accurate so let's go ahead and go back to the checklist and also make sure to follow each of the questions as they say don't deviate all right don't do uh, anything else just do exactly what they tell you and you should be okay and remember for everyone the questions are going to be different so keep that in mind but yeah so now we just wait for the test and you should be okay so that is it for this video guys that is how you pass the user testing testing
So thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications. And I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.